Hi YouTubes, welcome back to Big Lad Biking. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to uh, give it a little click on the subscribe if you like what you see today, and uh, maybe consider ringing the little bell. We, uh, we we like new subscribers; it always helps the channel. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. But let's crack in today. We're going to be looking at my new helmet. This is almost a follow-up video to the. Uh, just one J14 helmet review I did a little while ago. Um, obviously that one didn't fit. Um, so we've gone with the LS2 helmet. Uh, it's the MX701 Explorer Carbon. So this is how it arrives. Um, the box was a little deformed, but I'm not wearing the box, so it doesn't really matter. So without further ado, let's open her up and see how it arrives. <clears throat> so this is what came in the box. We've got a Pinlock insert uh, for the helmet, which we'll be adding in once we've had a look at the helmet. We've got a little bag with um, some extra clips and screws, and there's a little Allen key in there, and what looks like a instruction manual, how to change it from the Explorer um, trail version they call it to the street version without the peak on it and there's also some reflective um, strips if you want to make the helmet a little bit more visible at night so always ahead obviously is LS2's logo obviously a play on words ahead of the game and ahead on a head um, this is really, really good quality carry bag, nicely padded, a couple of handles and dual zips. And then inside, we should get both angles, we've got Another bag, an actual dust cover that's really good, thick quality. Logo printed on the top there. Nice, good quality. Really happy with the quality of the bag so far. That's a really, really good sign. We've also got this little fella. So opening this up another little pouch inside and an inflatable helmet stand so I'm going to pause the videos inflate this and get the helmet out so there we go LS2 inflatable Helmet support, ideal for doing bits and pieces on the helmet. So let's open up the bag and take our first look at the helmet. I've looked at it an awful lot on the internet, obviously. Hey, you can't see it yet, but this is really, really good looking, I think. So. There we go. So I'm just going to pause the video again, and then I've got something in mind to give you a better look at the vid at the helmet.
so pause the video again and let's go in for a closer look. So before we go any further, I'm trying a different setup with the cameras and sound and lighting today. So if you have got any comments, any thoughts on the on the pictures and the sound, do drop a message in the uh, comments below and I'm always happy to take on board anything anyone's got to say. But let's have a look at the helmet. So the stats first, looking at the back here, and obviously it's a big one because it's got to go over on my head. So it's a double XL and it's 1500 grams plus or minus 50 grams, which I don't think is bad for a extra, extra large um, adventure helmet with a big peak on it and the drop down visor. Can I drop it down? There we go. So having both, I think is pretty, pretty nice. So let's see what it says on this label on the window. So we've got extra comfort, breathable and hypoallergenic. Ready for linking ride pal, whatever that is. I'll have to look into that. And eyeglasses fit system. I don't wear glasses, but it's nice if you do. So they apparently do do a 3XL and a 4XL in this, but everywhere I looked, it stopped at 2XL. So whether it's a special order. So let's take off this film before use. And that is my first look without the sticker on. Obviously, I ordered this from the internet. And I got it just before Christmas uh, to replace the other one. Um, so I had to try it on. So I have seen it. I have looked at it. But this is the first time I've taken the stickers off. I've tried it on, obviously, to make sure it fit. Um, while we're talking about uh, delivery of it, it was bought from... Um, it was bought from motocard.com. Um, it's, again, it's a European website. Um, these run at around about £300 in the UK, including shipping. I managed to get it for £250. Um, it's a bit of a gamble, uh, but they were quite descriptive on the LS2 website um, with the shape head. So unlike the just one, before that was an intermediate to short oval or round. This is described as a long oval and it really does fit well front to back and side to side. It's nice and snug on the cheeks, which I like, but um, it was a gamble I was prepared to take for a saving of 50 quid. So um, paid off, fits lovely. The just checking my notes so it's um, the nice thing or a nice thing that I found out after I bought it is LS2 with this helmet give a five-year warranty obviously for manufacturing faults not as long as you don't modify the helmet in any way you can fit headsets to it and stuff and cameras but um, sort of manufacturing faults, failure, etc., which is quite nice. It's free, you just go online and um, and register your helmet, register where you bought it, how much you paid, etc. So underneath, so if we bring it over closer, we've got, this visor is never going to fly up. We've got a clip, if you could see that there, so just here, we've got a push button and then lift the visor. It's really one or two positions open. There's not anything sort of halfway, but it's very firm uh, mechanism on it. And because of the shape, I don't know if you can see around here, 
it's got a shaped molded visor um might be able to see better that way or indeed over on this camera you can just see here it's shaped and molded so i imagine and we'll find out when i go in for a ride if you had that half open <coughs> excuse me if you had that half open that's going to be distorting your vision so you're either going to have it fully open potentially with goggles or fully closed with the multitude of vents open so let's bring it back to the main camera and we've got a big front vent then on the top just uh, where's my finger in center shot there a pair of vents then at the back we've got a series of vents down either side to allow the air through and moving further down you've got more vents to allow the air through and indeed on the side here if I move my fingers out of the way this is an opening vent to allow even more air through so this is going to be a really well ventilated helmet once I get a chance to get out on the road and I'm really really looking forward to getting it out there um, right at the very back you've got another vent so there's one two three four five six seven vents along the back another two on the side and then you've got the three big vents at the front to allow the air through so looking underneath it's this really nice comfortable material it has got the emergency cheek releases which is nice it's a d-ring fitting shackle which to be honest with you is the one part i don't like of it i like the micro click buckle if you like um but i've had the shackle before and they're okay it's just a bit of a fiddle um inside let's see if i turn it that way we might be able to get better lighting so inside you've got space i'm going to go in through the front door so we've got space in here for the headphones as it mentioned you've got a chin rest a chin rest a chin guard because it is quite a long front um to stop the draft in it's all removable and then i don't know if you can just see the vents inside inside i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see but along the top here you can actually see the vents for the helmet so i think this is going to be a really well ventilated helmet uh, lots of air flowing through there to keep your head cool which is kind of good because obviously black carbon is going to attract the sun in the summer but it's uh i think there's going to be more than enough ventilation with all the vents open so that is the ls2 explorer mx701 in carbon um if you've got a long oval head long oval shaped head or you're looking and you're looking for a adventure helmet that looks really great isn't going to break the bank yes 300 pound is the sort of standard price ish it's not the cheapest one out there but i think you're getting quite a lot of quality for not a lot of money for what it is a lot of carbon helmets <clears throat> carbon adventure helmets are running up to sort of four five six hundred pounds and more <clears throat> so I'm really looking forward to getting out on the bike and riding this. I will do another video shortly because this is getting a bit long with the pin lock system fitting it. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. <clears throat> I might do a video at the same time about taking the visor off. But I don't plan on riding without the visor. Although it does look quite nice without the visor. I think it looks better with the visor and with the motorbike as well. Kind of fits the... Uh, fits the scene the scene the theme even um yeah i really like it 
I thoroughly recommend it. Have a look on motocard.com. They're still having a sale. I did buy it with my own money. Um, well, I got it for Christmas from the wife. So we bought it with our money. The wife. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to wearing it. It's really comfortable. I've had it on for a while. So it's um, there's no sort of pressure points that I could feel. Sort of half an hour or so. Just getting ready for this video I, I put it on to make sure that it was going to be um, comfortable long term um, <clears throat> give us a like give us a subscribe it helps the channel any suggestions you've got anything you'd like to see um, I'm going to do a, a short video next um, about my gloves and see how that goes I've got a plan in place for what I want to do with the channel but we'll talk about that in a separate video so for now thank you guys thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me to the end and hopefully i'll see you in the next one cheers bye for now